have the ability to peek those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place. <laughs> Seems that your journey has ended. Very sorry about that. It was it was always going to end this way, of course. If it weren't by me, it would have just been by some other, you know, terrible thing. Just you could not imagine how terrible it would be. Just I get scared thinking about it. I'm glad it's not me. It reminds me of a of a time I was speaking to my good friend Orville. We were. We were sitting on a park bench watching the pigeons. I was on the left, he was on the... Oh, wait, was I on the right or left? Anyways, it doesn't matter. We were sitting on there watching the pigeons. And uh, I, I said to Orville, Friend, those birds are frozen. And he kind of looked at me like I'd lost my mind. But I reminded him that it was winter, you know, and often birds will sit in a tree until they freeze. And then they, they you know, sort of fall to the ground until the sun warms up and, and they can, you know, move around again. So I said to Orville, you might as well save those breadcrumbs until the birds thaw because they can't very well enjoy them in the condition they're in. To which he asked what I meant and asking what condition the crumbs should be in before he threw them to the birds, assuming that I meant the birds couldn't enjoy the breadcrumbs in the condition that the crumbs were in when in fact, I had meant the birds could not enjoy them in the condition that the birds were in, considering that the birds were frozen. You know, so he took a moment and then threw his last handful onto the ground. I said to him, Orville, why did you throw the breadcrumbs to the birds when I just told you they're frozen? To which he responded, the breadcrumbs are not frozen. Again, misunderstanding my words. I didn't mean to say that the breadcrumbs were frozen when I said I told you they're frozen. I'd been referring to the birds. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, what, what I should have said was, and this would make perfect sense, why did you throw the breadcrumbs to the birds when the birds are frozen? He misunderstood upon my correction, stating that he didn't know what else to do with the breadcrumbs and that perhaps, you know, when the birds thawed, they'd still be able to eat the crumbs. So I, I, I said to Orville, I said, and this is what I said to him, I said, Orville, the birds may be dead.
forgot about me.
may take a few moments. Position your head and torso between the parts. <laughs> It's not my fault. I have these fat plastic fingers and can't press the buttons. I don't get out much, so you'll have to forgive my enthusiasm.
but I can pull myself
never leave them. But he could not choose. He promised them to never leave them.